Hey Internet, today we're going to talk about Tao Chi's skill set. Note that this is pre release. Both the websites are in the pinned comment. So, this is Tao Chi. She's a border defense director at the Ministry of Development. So that's some backstory. You can read the backstory later on. So, let's get to her skill set. So she uses a broad blade, so that is the equivalent of a claymore or a two-handed weapon in Genshin Impact, for example. So that's one comparison. Her attribute is Havoc. No comparison there. She looks great. Okay, so her idle pose. Okay, cool. Looks like she's got some kind of iPad or some kind of tablet and she's yawning disliking work I can relate her normal attack so basic just does consecutive damage or consecutive attacks and then her heavy enters a parry state and counter attacks the enemy when the en enemy attacks that's cool that's very Beidou like from Genshin Impact okay I definitely like playing Beidou, so that's a cool character. The Resonance skill. So her skill generates a shield. When enemies attack, the shield can absorb damage. Cool. Alright. So that sounds like a Noel type. So I'm just trying to draw comparisons from Genshin Impact because I play Genshin Impact and that's the closest thing I can reference to. So if you are watching this and you haven't played Genshin Impact, that's totally fine. All right, Resonance Liberation. So she has a wide swing and it looks like it's a wide horizontal AOE. All right, generates a force field, slowing down the enemies. Ooh, that's cool. So from what I gather, she's a defensive utility support. Okay, that's cool. Let's move on to the second page. Okay, so some backstory. You can go onto the website from the pinned comment and read it. Let's go on to the skill set and let's see if they added some more details. All right, so normal attack. All right, heavy attack switches the parry state. Oh, that's some new information. She can mitigate incoming damage. So she literally can just not block, but parry. Well, that's the name, right? Parry state. So not only does she counter attacks, but she can parry the attack and nullify the enemy's attack. That's nice. That's, in, that's like Beto, but better. That's really cool. Okay, so resonance skill, we know that it generates a shield that absorbs damage. What else does she do? Deals aerial damage to nearby enemies, okay. Restoring HP and generating shields around herself. Alright, so seems like her skill is very similar to Noelle's skill from Genshin Impact. And when the shield is attacked, she gains Forte Gauge. Okay. So Forte Circuit is her passive. Alright, so when the gauge is fully charged, her next heavy attack is Enhance. The Enhance Heavy Attack Tao Chi unleashes her powerful counter attack. 
and any incoming damage from the enemy okay and she ends the parry state I see so she counterattacks in her parry state so she won't take damage from that one attack but then her parry state ends okay I get that and then her normal attack consumes the remaining forte gauge her teammate shields mitigate damage yes we know that that's okay okay and her resonance liberation her burst so we know she does a wide range slash all right outburst energy generates a special force field slows down the enemies okay so I would imagine that this character is useful for fast enemies and fast hitting enemies perhaps or like enemies that have a really telegraphed attack because she needs to counter attack and she has a shield so she isn't like your typical DB, uh, DPS character it seems like she's a bit more strategic so what I mean by your main or like your typical main DPS is that you just hit one button or like mash one button and just deal a lot of damage it seems like her job is to protect your team and I think she has a lot of utility so I feel like she is a jack of all trades master of none but still better than a master of one now I hope she is a six star in disguise because I'm not sure if she's a five star or a four star or whatever the r rarity is so orange or gold instead of purple so I hope she is a limited um, event character because it, she, it seems like she does a lot of stuff and seems like she's quite OP. So I hope that she is, I guess, S tier. But we'll find out. It is pre-release, so we don't know her stats yet. And I really hope that this character is super OP because it seems like her kit is a combination of Noel and Beidou combined together. We don't have any slows in Genshin Impact. So the closest thing to a slow would be a freeze. So in a way, I think that she is like just a really cool combination of both, I guess, Noel and Beidou. I really like that. I like the play style. I like the more slower, more strategic. You gotta wait for the enemy or wait for the timing to be correct. And she's a protector, so she's a tank. So that's always great. All right, so those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, become a member if you want to, drop a super thanks if you want to, leave a comment below. Did you think this was interesting? Was it helpful? Are you gonna wish for Tao Chi? She seems like a rare, uh, really versatile character. She does a lot of things and she seems to be a tank. And since there's only three character slots in your party, so maybe it's a tank, DPS and healer. I'm not sure if that's the meta, but it seems like she does a lot of things and 
I hope that she's really powerful. Alright. Leave a comment below. Until next time, see ya.